As Nehemiah chapter 12 begins, Nehemiah documents the priestly and Levitical families with three listings. First, he lists the priest and the Levites in the days of Zerubbabel. Next, the priest in the days of Joachim, and then the Levites during the reign of Darius the Persian. And my question is, why are these lists here? What's the significance of them? As the city of Jerusalem is being reestablished, Nehemiah wisely goes back and historically validates the beginning of the Jewish community and its spiritual authority. See, these lists make their claim as God's chosen people legit. Now, there are around 100 names mentioned here, so as you take the time to read and accurately pronounce each and every one of them, I'm going to skip down to verse 27, where we're told, Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with gladness, both with thanksgiving and singing, with cymbals and stringed instruments and harps. The dedication of the wall is a huge event. And at first glance, the detail with which Nehemiah lays it all out looks like a production, a show, maybe a source of entertainment. And there is that kind of organization to it. But what sticks out to me as I read through the design of it is the emphasis on worship, purity, and joy. First, you have the singers, those gifted vocally and instrumentally to lead in worship. Next, the priest, responsible for purifying themselves, the people, and the place. Then the leaders of Judah, and these two large thanksgiving choirs, the people. So what comes of all the planning and organizing? Look at verse 43. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and children also rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard afar off. And let me just say this in closing. I hope that you are rejoicing today. And like the joy of Jerusalem in our reading, that your joy would be heard by all of those around you. For our God is worthy of our praise.